Hey there my fellow Royal fans, welcome back to the channel for today's headline. Although Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry have won fans in the US with notable celebrities such as Oprah Winfrey and Melissa McCarthy, the Cambridges too have maintained a popular foothold in America. While the Sussexes have accused the firm of a wide range of allegations, figures show the Cambridge Royals Foundation has soared in funding. Meghan and Harry had been earmarked as a big positive for the foundation during their time in the royal family. But accounts have increased since their departure. As the Daily Mail's Richard Eden reveals, accounts for the royal foundation have now increased to a staggering £11.78 million. Since Harry and Meghan left the firm, it stood at £6,680 in 2019. Initially, the so-called Meghan effect had created huge publicity for royal initiatives, but Mr. Eden reports accounts for the Royal Foundation have continued to rise in the last two years. While some in the US may have been influenced by the remarks made by the Sussexes, the Foundation has benefited from a £2.59 million grant from the American Friends of the Royal Foundation. Mr. Eden said when Prince Harry and Meghan quit the Royal Foundation, they led with Prince William and Catherine. Their cheerleaders predicted it would have a dramatic effect on the charity's finances, and it has. They've soared. I can reveal that the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge enjoyed a surge in income last year to a staggering £11.78 million. There's, that's almost double the £6.68 million raised in 2019 when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were still involved. It's the Meghan effect, one courtier jokes, somewhat unkindly. Newly published documents disclose that the 2020 total includes a £2.59 million grant from American friends of the Royal Foundation. Clearly, the California-based Sussexes haven't won over all Americans. Harry and William have had a strange relationship since the former stepped back from the firm. Speaking to Oprah earlier this year, Harry admitted the pair needed space to let their relationship heal. Since the bombshell interview, Harry did return to the UK in April to attend the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip. It was the first public meeting between the two since the interview with Oprah, and pictures showed the pair chatting on the day. Harry also returned in July to unveil a statue of Princess Diana in Kensington Palace's sunken gardens. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. That's where we ended today. Goodbye for now.